Birds such as the missile thrush, song thrush and blue tit were caught using nets after they were baited and using bird calls played on speakers. The birds were then tagged and shown to the guests before being let back into the wild, where the bird ringers will monitor how they live for scientific purposes. Around 50 people attended the event at Wildside Activity Center, which was held by brood ringers, in Wolverhampton on Sunday 14. Steve Downs, who volunteers at the center, said, The feedback I had was very complimentary. There was lots of people who had never been to the center before saw how wonderful it was. What the bird ringers did was set up very fine nets in the woods and then set up bird calls on speakers which encouraged birds to come into the woods. The birds then flew into the nets before the bird ringers carefully released to take measurements. The event was held to showcase both the activity center and the bird ringing group. The activity center has been run by volunteers for the past three years after it lost council funding and it relies on public donations to keep running. Bird ringing is one of a number of recreational activities held there, with others including cycling to outdoor crafts. The bird ringers will track the birds' flight paths, feeding habits and where they nest. The brood group spotted one bird it caught as far away as Portugal. It really is an international community, said Steve. He added the bird ringers need a license to be able to carry out their activities. Colorful birds were pictured at the event with some featuring bright colors of blue and yellow. They were also given tags on the legs and finally sent back into the wild. For more information about the bird ringers, visit www.birdringers.com or for the center, visit www.wildsidic.co.uk.